yard haunt update. So today we've added a couple new things. The obelisk from Home Depot being one of them. I know I said yesterday in my update that I needed something over here between the guard zombie and the grave digger. And I thought the obelisk was the perfect fit. I went in the garage and I said, man, what can I put in here? And I looked over and I seen this tombstone. I said, why in the heck don't I have this thing out there yet? So I grabbed this and put it out here. I think it looks pretty dang cool right there. We got all our blue lights on. We got our purple lights and blue lights. Uh, really going extremely heavy with the blues and the purples. I just love that vibe in a cemetery. I know some people throw a lot of greens out there and they'll throw reds in the mix. And I just don't think those colors look good as far as in a cemetery. The other new thing I added today is a, another blue spotlight on this guy. I got rid of the red one that stops working all the time and changes up. So I bought some brand new ones. But the only downfall with these are they're all one color. So if I change it to blue, all four of them light up blue. Where all my other ones you can individually choose what color you want to use. Uh, so that part kind of sucks. So I might have to start swapping out some of my blue lights that I'm using elsewhere that I can change the colors on individually and then use these lights because like I said, I do have a bunch of blues. So I might just do that and start using my floodlights other places because I had the white on this guy and I went to put a blue one down below him and as soon as I turned it on it went straight blue so I was like oh okay well maybe I, they're too close to each other well I tried that and nope whatever button you hit is what they all go so unfortunately that kind of bites the dust so we'll have to figure that out I'm gonna have to change up a bunch of lights like usual but uh, nonetheless, he does look really cool with his blue light. Um, definitely gives it a really creepy vibe, especially from uh, this angle at the road. So he's definitely really cool. We still have our skeleton creeper up here on top of the archway. Fortunately, I haven't unplugged these little pin spots since I put them up. Uh, just because I totally forget about it when I go to work in the morning. Uh, so these guys are dead and we're going to have to get some new 9 volts on that. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to hang our uh, dead and breakfast sign from his hands or something uh, during trick or treat. So that'll be a kind of kind of neat. And then we'll have the kids walk in up through here and we're going to lay the Home Depot coffin down and you'll be able to get your candy out of that. But other than that, we still have the Lowe's werewolf out here, the bright light on him uh, so I still gotta go get some new lights I still need to make another order for lights although I have been buying a bunch of stuff I just bought like a ton of stuff from Timu um, for something else that I'm building and that'll be coming in the next few days so stay tuned on some of those updates uh, we have a massive build coming and uh, definitely one of the crazier things I've ever done especially for a yard haunt um, but I'm really really excited for it uh, things are really shaping up and turning out pretty good still have all the same old characters out here uh, like I said I didn't do too much today I've been working on this huge build trying to get it done uh, before the end of this weekend uh, right now it is currently Friday uh, I've worked all the way up until I couldn't see anymore and I decided that's probably late enough. Uh, everyone's getting ready to go to bed. I'm out here using screw guns and drills, so I should probably call it a day. So I just got to a point where I, I could stop and I quit for the night. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get some new stuff out here. I know I've been saying we're gonna update the graveyard, but I have yet to do that. But we are doing small changes, you know, some lighting and some tombstones. Same over here, we have the same old characters, same tombstones. Um, nothing really new to add over here. No one will hear your cries for help. The earth will fill your lungs as you try to scream. Buried alive. <laughs>
here we still have the same old tombstones but on the back side as you can see on the back side of the caretaker i have a blue light well that same blue light that i have on the scarecrow is one i put behind this tombstone so now behind this tombstone i have a light shining over to here to illuminate those tombstones over there and then the blue light from the caretaker is obviously lighting this one up a little bit and then i have this little light right here behind this tiny tombstone shining off over here to these and there is also a new tombstone over here i did put this big tombstone out i believe i got this from spirit so we have this one out here we have the big angel uh, i'm not sure i think she's gonna stay there uh we might move a couple of these around just we'll see but we have a lot of blue lights out here pretty sure you can see my house from space i mean look at the the glares are insane then over here we still have the headless horseman and this guy is just going insane he's been going nuts all day uh, i actually turned him off so i turned him back on for tonight totally forgot to turn him back off uh, I kept walking by nonstop, and he kept going nuts, so uh, that was enough of him. And we still got him. We still have this tombstone right here. And then we still have the Swamp Fisherman from Home Depot. This guy is going to get a new home very, very soon, and... It's gonna be really cool so stay tuned there's a huge update coming something absolutely crazy that i have never ever done before and we might be moving this fire and ice light um we'll probably be putting something else over here honestly i think something else is definitely going to go right here um we'll just see if i want to put it here or if i want to put it over by the graveyard maybe i'm not real sure but i want to put my scare or my skeleton sacrifice up and then uh i need to finish another one that i was building and then i need to put out my other skeleton that i made I need to get some of these guys out here but uh yeah stay tuned you guys we got a lot of really cool stuff coming up uh haunt season is upon us it's a really really chilly night tonight i'm still in shorts and i'm freezing so uh you guys keep it spooky get out there keep decorating just get out there and decorate i love seeing all the updates everyone else is doing so keep them coming keep the updates coming keep the awesome builds coming i love seeing all the stuff you guys build and uh if i start building more stuff i will definitely be posting photos and videos and uh yeah haunts on we're getting this thing going oh, yeah, i guess we can't forget leatherface ghostface freddie michael and jason up on the porch and then we still got the boogeyman and the 12 foot skeleton and we still got sam over there but stay tuned guys you're not going to want to miss what's coming up in the next few days Open the gates of hell.